Hey homegirls, we're back with another episode of Transform My Space and this is episode eight. I can't believe it's been eight episodes of this series, crazy. Welcome to the Addison Project. My friend Addison came to me in 2022 and asked could I help him transform his living room space in his beautiful new home and of course I said yes. Hi, I'm Addison. Look, it's Simba. So this is Simba. <laughs> <laughs> is a two-year-old Dalmatian that has just had a peanut butter snack. Thank you. I met Amber in, I think, 2015, 2016. It's been a while. I started seeing her do home makeovers. I purchased my home a little over a year now, and I was like, I don't know what I want to do with this space. I saw that Amber was doing the work, and I said, let me reach out. All the projects that I get to be a part of with my family friends are really special to me, but this particular project is so near and dear to my heart. I remember logging on to social media one day and seeing Addison's post about the current home that he was living in going up in flames. And my heart just dropped. A fire ripped through an apartment complex this morning and displaced several families. We continue to work on hotspots after a massive fire broke out in the apartment complex. About seven o'clock this morning, flames shot through the roof. You see this this morning. News Chopper 2 is live over the Evergreen apartment. Right now, DeKalb County firefighters are still trying to figure out what caused the massive fire that ripped through that apartment building. It, in that moment, the initial moment, the first hour of me watching my home burn, I didn't, feel anything. I was just in shock. I was like, I was in flight mode. Get my dog out, grab the whatever I can grab, and get out. Yeah. Escape. It was a lot to navigate, and it's still, I'm still navigating it. I'm still learning how to live with losing everything, and then living with recovery. On a lighter note, <laughs> I knew that I wanted to purchase a home. I was already in contact with my realtor, and then when I didn't have a place to stay, I really started ramping up uh, looking, and he, we worked overtime. <laughs> he was even out of the country traveling on his vacation, still working to make sure that I got in my home because I was without home for a while. I am so happy that Addison got a fresh start and I am thankful that I am able to be a part of his journey of transforming his new space. Addison wants to do a modern design with small and subtle pops of color. He wanted the design to feel sophisticated and classy, but yet super functional because he plans to entertain his family and friends in the space. So it needs to feel functional and feel like he can actually entertain, which he loves to do. I knew I wanted modern. Everything traditionally I've been doing up until this point has been old southern. Sometimes I was like four house. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> like, Ooh, you child, you yes. you stuck. You stuck in the four house era. We look, we all were in the four house era, so it's okay. I mean, you are from Mississippi. Yes, I am from Mississippi, and I was just like Addison, but this truly isn't your style because I want it to be modern, I want it to be functional, I want it to be where I can sit a good amount of people because I have a large family, they do come and visit often. I've been working on this project for about a year now and we started everything from scratch, meaning there was no furniture, there was nothing in this room. It was a blank canvas, so I had the opportunity to help Addison design this project from the beginning. We're getting closer and closer to install day and I have not found any pillows for this room. I've been looking high and low and nothing has been fitting the vibe for this room. And if we don't find any pillows for this room, it's gonna look crazy. So we need to find pillows like yesterday. So we're almost a week out to install day and I am like freaking out a little bit because there are quite a bit of things that are left on the to-do list. I'm okay with like the other small things. I feel like I have good luck with finding like the smaller decor items, but pillows are stressing me out, y'all. Right now, 
I may have to have a conversation. I'm on Amazon right now and I found some selections and it is a little bit out of budget. Like I am a little stressed about this because I may have to have a conversation with my client and let him know that, uh, yeah, you might have to spin it back a little bit to get the look that you want. I'm gonna do one more last desperate attempt and look at home goods and see what we can find. I already need to pick up some other stuff too, which like I need some coffee table books. I need like all kinds of stuff. I am y'all. Wish me luck. We'll see what we find. But honestly, I'm just hoping and praying that I can like come through with at least some cheaper pillows at home goods that are like still good quality. Right now I'm not finding any luck. The hardest thing about design projects is like not really having the item in the actual space. So you don't really know like what everything is gonna like really look like. So you kind of have to be a visionary sometimes, which can be like a, a challenging thing when it comes to design. So I have a vision in my mind of like what I want the space to look like. Doesn't mean that it always comes out that way, but it's looking like we are not gonna find the pillow here. Thank God I found some pillows last minute. Shout out to Home Goods. I had to go to multiple Home Goods. Like I, I did a round, okay? But thank God I found them. I also had my client order some Amazon inserts and covers just in case because you just never know. You can never have too many items to decorate a room. Hey, hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, I did wanna call you because I just did a home goods run, so I found like most of the things I needed. I will say that there are gonna be some things that we need to order on Amazon because the thing is with the pillows, I've been having a hard time, like just trying to find the pillows that I need. I got most of them, but I do want to order like some pillow covers just in case to like it when we get in the space and it's just not like flowing. I need to make sure that we have like the right palette. You know what I mean? So I'm going to send you an email with like the link of just like pillow covers um, and some other stuff that we need to order as far as like decorative items. The other stuff though may go back. So like that's why I'm ordering it right now because that way we can be within the return window. I'm not that confident about these pillows that I picked but at least I have some options to work with. So we are gonna see what happens. All right, so this is everything that I have so far. Pillows all are here and then some of the decorative items. I'm probably gonna pull from some of the stuff I do have in my closet. So probably gonna bring some other vases too that I already have just in case, <laughs> just in case I can have options. But I definitely need a lot more stuff, not too many other items, but a lot more items to kind of make it a little bit more complete. So I made you a DIY because I do have these wooden bowls. I got these from Hobby Lobby. So if I do not find anything on Amazon, your girl's gonna be DIYing a bowl, which honestly, this may come out really cute. Now y'all know DIYing is not my ministry at all. But sometimes when you can't find what you're envisioning in the store, sometimes you just gotta DIY. And I'm okay with DIYing for the most part, decor items. I mean, I can't mess it up. So it, it shouldn't be that hard. Okay, it is currently 10.45 right now, and I forgot that I had to DIY this bowl for tomorrow's project. It's still day is tomorrow, and I luckily, like, everything is all taken care of, the car is packed up, but I literally was out, and I was like, oh, I forgot to DIY this bowl. Like, Tom has been kind of, like, flying, but anyway, I'm gonna DIY the bowl. I think I'm gonna do kind of like a black base and then go over it and sponge it with some of this brown color. It's called coffee bean, but it's a pretty simple DIY for the most part. I can't believe install day is here. This is crazy because I've been working on this project for a year and the day is here. Let's just hope we got everything we need because I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. All 
All right, it's install day and guess who's here? You know I had to bring her with me every project. And we also have a special guest. Anyway, we're about to get started. We need to unload the car and bring everything in. And then the handyman is also coming to you very soon. So I'm super excited. Now y'all know typically me and my mom, we like Bob the Builder, okay? We gonna build something, we gonna hang stuff. But this time around, I hired a handyman because I really wanted to just focus on design since I did everything from scratch. I was involved early in the design process and I just needed to make sure everything's right. So hiring a professional was, ooh, it's the way to go, and I probably will be doing that for every project moving forward. tag removal duty that's the thing that i hate sometimes about how they tag items at home goods like it's hard to get them off the product sometimes so we are trying to figure that out and work that out <laughs> It was not hitting and I ain't gonna lie, I kind of started freaking out because I'm like, what am I gonna do? I know I have other options, but I was really banking on this like terracotta color to come through. And when it got in the space, it just was not giving that. Like the color that it was picking up in the space, it just, it wasn't it. Those could work, I just don't like those below. They just look too like orangey. You know what I mean? Oh, those are good, but I only have two of them. Well, we can do something that's different in the center. So I did get these, which I'm wondering, should we do these for the outer? We have inserts, you know what I mean? What's this? And then those, I mean, I have two of those. But because we overbought, those pillows definitely saved the day. And I actually really loved how that particular palette and look came out. So I'm really happy that we went that route. touches onto this project. Addison will be back any minute now and I'm just so excited. I just hope that he likes this room. Simba already saw it, but on the count of three, you open your eyes. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. Imagine this. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. But like, what 
picture you even imagine. You're like, I don't know what else goes with Yeah, I was like, I don't know. Like, it's different when you're just picking the pieces. Yeah. You see the full picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then now that you have the full picture, it's like, Wow. Yeah. Oh, I I don't even know how to explain how I feel. I just feel so many emotions. I'm excited mainly for my family to see it. <laughs> they have been here this year about five times already and none of this was in here. So I'm trying to decide will I send them pictures or what should I just wait for them to be surprised? <laughs> Simba, do you have anything you wanna say? Do you like it? You like that space? Huh? It really brings me so much joy that I was able to be a part of this new chapter in Addison's life and to help him design a space for himself to enjoy and to enjoy with his family and friends. I feel so honored and thankful that he thought of me and this truly has been the most special and my most favorite project to date. Like I am obsessed with this project and what we did here. All right, homegirls, that is the end of episode eight of the Transform My Space series. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and there will be plenty more episodes coming in the future. So make sure you are subscribed and you stay tuned. I love you, homegirls, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.